What's up, Dracons? It's Tuesday. I believe the 22nd. Maybe 23rd. Maybe even 20. <laughs> let me let me look. I'll tell you real quick. I'm a week behind. It's the 29th. And uh, I'm reading this book called The Bodhisattva Vow. The Essential Practices of Mahayana Buddhism. And um, not so much I'm trying to get you guys into Buddhism or anything. I'm just... Uh, talks about discipline. And uh, so that made me think of Jocko. And it also kind of tells me why I was a PJ. So this is the introduction... Uh, second paragraph and third paragraph. So, <clears throat> the Bodhisattva's moral discipline is a higher moral discipline and is the main path that leads to the ultimate happiness of great enlightenment. In general, moral discipline is a virtuous determination to abandon any non-virtuous action. For example, if by seeing the disadvantages of killing, stealing, or sexual misconduct, we make a firm decision to reframe <clears throat> to refrain from such actions. This is moral discipline. Similarly, the determination to refrain from lying, divisive speech, hurtful speech, idle gossip, covetousness, malice, and holding wrong views is also moral discipline. In Patri Moksha Sutra, Buddha says it would be better for us to die than to break our moral discipline because death destroys only this one life whereas breaking our moral discipline destroys our opportunity to experience happiness in many future lives and condemns us to experience the sufferings of lower rebirths over and over again. So a bodhisattva is a person who has attained enlightenment and instead of choosing to go on and finish the cycle has decided to stay here and try to make the world a better place. Uh, I am not saying that Anybody I know is a bodhisattva, but I am saying that the concept, idea, and morals uh, are highly, highly good. And in this day and age, it's there's not a lot of highly good things. There might be a lot of in the middle of the road, barely doing anything not really helping out society <clears throat> and then I see pararescue um, and with pararescue you can do all these things you can remain above the fray of everyday normal BS fighting about Democrats or communists or socialists or Republicans or heartless Grinches or whatever Thing that you can think of stay above the fray always maintain the high ground always do the right thing don't even steal air and if you appreciate the small and little things that either happen to you or are in your life how can you not really appreciate the big things and appreciate all that we've been given and all that we have and realize that you've won the lottery. And by having won the lottery, you should want to give back. And whatever that choice is for you, uh, a life of service, whether it's in the military, the fire department, teaching, whatever it is that that is your service, I think that that's the key. You know, what language do you speak? What do you want to do? What do you want to accomplish? And the the discipline being freedom, like Jocko said, or says, is everything. Because you're free. It's it's kind of like in a Pilates class, I'm doing the exercise, or I'm or in a yoga class, and I'm doing what the uh, teacher is saying. I'm free because I don't have to do anything but breathe and do what they want me to do or do what they you know, are telling me to do and so all I have to do is keep breathing and I can keep doing it and I can keep going and I'm able to detach myself from it and be like okay I'm breathing I'm moving I'm going I'm good 
So don't lose your discipline. Don't lose your freedom. Don't lose your life. Be thankful for what you got. And thank you for listening. Who y'all?